In this video, I am going to introduce you to this DeepSeq coder. DeepSeq coder from DeepSeq AI introduces state-of-the-art, very modern open source code completion and infilling models trained on a diverse 2 trillion token set. Yes, the token set is huge. And another very salient feature of this is that the models range from 1 billion to 33 billion parameters specialize in project level code completion and can also be used with hugging face transformer library each model which i just have mentioned is pre-trained on project level code corpus by employing a window size of 16k and an extra fill in the blank task to support project level code completion and infilling which is quite novel for this sort of models also these models are available in the sizes of 1 billion 5.7 billion 6.7 billion and also 33 billion so whatever your requirement is you can choose your model accordingly also 87 percent of the tokens are code and 30 percent are the linguist data in both english and chinese language the researchers have also evaluated these models on different benchmarks including um, this human eval mbbp and lots of other and their results are very fascinating as you can see here for example if you see this result you can see that the deep c coder 33 billion the biggest one has significantly outperformed existing open source code LLMs. For example, if you compare it with Code Llama, then it has outperformed it by 7.9%, 9 9.3%, and so on on different uh, benchmarks like Human Eval, Multilingual, and lots of other. One thing which really stands out is this. That deep seek coder base 7 billion reaches a performance of code llama 34 billion. That is insane. Okay, now I'll drop the link to this uh, in uh, to this repo in video's description so that you can follow along. But let me show you how you can install it locally. I'm going to use the Google Colab notebook, but you can use the same commands on any Linux instance, or if, if you are using Windows, you can use Windows subsystem. Uh, in order to install it. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is to clone this GitHub repo. So scroll up, click on the screen button, grab this URL, and go back to your Google Colab. I already have selected it. And then click on runtime. Make sure that your runtime type is T4 GPU. Save it. Now let's get clone it. Get clone and the URL which we have just copied. Let's run it. It is going to clone this it on our Google Colab or if you're running any flavor of Linux, it should clone it on your Linux file system. Let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long now. That's done. If you click on this folder icon, you would see that now DeepSeek coder is here. Now let's create another cell and CD to this directory. press enter and now we are in that directory okay that is cool now we need to install all the requirements which are part of this in order to do that all we need to do is to run pip install dash r requirement so let me do that and this is going to install all the requirements including transformer and lot of other okay let me see if i'm already in that directory or not let's run it I'm not in this that directory. Let me go to that directory. I think I don't need to put this semicolon here. Let's run it. Okay, now it is good. Let's run it. Yeah, I'm not in now in the correct directory. Let's run that pip install requirements again. And I'm going to close this folder. So you can see that it is installing tokenizer, transformer, a lot of other things. Let's wait for it to finish. 
it has been installed now in the next step let's let me show you the code to download the model so you can see i am importing these libraries first and then i am specifying and downloading this model with the tokenizer let's run it let's see how big the size of this model is okay, so it is around 10 gig and the speed looks good so let's and there are two shards so the first shard is being loaded let's see if my <clears throat> notebook is able to sustain it if not i'll upsize it and run it again let's wait for it to finish first chart is done second chart is in progress and the size of second chart is around 3.5 gig so in total it is just under 14 gig so make sure you have that much gig space on your system that's done and now it is consolidating the shards let's wait for it to finish and come back and then we will start giving it our prompts hopefully it won't crash on me it's a free um, GPU from Google, so it has a limited RAM. But let's see. So you can see that it has crashed, that your session crashed after using all available RAM. So I need to, okay, let me upsize it and run it again. Even after upsizing, the Google Colab was crashing. So what I did, I have created a notebook in AWS SageMaker with ec2 instance and ec2 instance is quite a beefy one it's g4 dnx large with one gpu and quite a lot of more than 30 gb of ram and 16 cpus so let's try it out i already have git cloned that repo which we did earlier now let's cd to that repo i think it is deep seeker dash coder if i'm right let's run it let's see what is it What's the name of it? Deep seek dash coder. So let's me correct the spelling. A lot is there. And now run pip install r dash requirement and it is going to install all the requirements. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. So it is installing the requirements. I will let it run. And then we are going to load the model. All the requirements are done, as you can see here. And now let's load the model. These were the commands. M1, let's run it. And it is going to import the libraries and then download the model with the two shards, as we saw earlier. Let's wait for it to start. Hopefully it should be good this time. Model download is about to start as you can see. It is around 10 gig the first chart as we remember. And then it will download the second chart. Let's wait for it to finish. The first chart is done, second is in progress. Let's wait for it to finish. Second chart is almost done. Let's wait for it to finish. Hopefully this time it won't crash. That model even crashed this notebook. So what I have done is if you look at this cell, instead of going with 7 billion model, I am just doing the 1.3 billion base model. And this is the hugging face page for that model. So I just simply search for deep seek AI and then this is the model which I got. If you want to look at other models, click on this deep seek AI and these are all the models by deep seek. So I'm just going with the base model, but you can go with the instruct one which is fine tuned. And also then there are a lot of other sizes. This is the one which we were trying earlier. But let me see if 1.3 billion works or not. Hopefully it works. It will work. So let's see, it is, and there are no shards in it, only one bin file, and which is just under three gig. So hopefully should be good for this GPU. It's almost done, shouldn't take too long now. 
and I will let it run so that you could also see if it fails or not. Let's see if that's good. It is now downloading the config of the model. And that's done because there is no static here in the cell. So that is awesome. Now let's ask get few of the questions. So this is a question which I got from their hugging face page. So I'm just asking it to write a quick thought. I'll give it some. Let's run it and see what it does. Let's wait for it to come back. After 20 or so seconds, it returned the result, which is awesome. You can see that how good this base model is. So just imagine about the fine tuned one. Now let's ask it one more question. Write a program to reverse a list in Python. Let's see if it is able to recognize the language. Let me run it. And there you go, it was lightning fast and it has uh, returned it. Uh, I will let you be the judge if it works or not. Let's see if it is able to do the JavaScript. I was not impressed by the way with the Python program. And it hasn't given me any JavaScript program here. So I think it is for, maybe I'll just ask it, algorithm. Algorithm, write an algorithm to reverse a list, and I'm not going to specify any language. Let's run it. There you go. So it is mainly working on algorithms. Let me just ask it that write a write uh, write an algo instead of algorithm to see if it is able to recognize. Yep, it is able to uh, testify that algo is algorithm. Fairly cool, I would say. Um, and please try it out on your systems to see how it goes. And let me know your comments or thoughts on this model. I believe quite a good one, as you can see. If you don't want to install it, they, they on their GitHub repo, they also have a hugging face demo, which you can use easily. And you can even chat with it as in the instruct model if you want to. But Sometimes it doesn't work because of the load, but keep trying and that should be good. So this is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.